every single year. Now Fire Free is about to come up. And no chance of a fire any time soon around here. Although people would like to be standing next to one. Here we go. The Kevin Lafferty, thanks to the Carter Group. The 2021 version, they're on their way. Fire Free, the slowest out I know for Hay. Didn't beat him out by much. Instigator going up towards the lead at the first. Put in a beautiful leap. He's a magnificent jumper. He jumps it with Saunter Boy. Out and Dreaming's on their inside. Looking around's coming through the middle and Blood and Sand was wider. Then I know for Hay who's tucked behind them and as they jump the second, he's over the first two all right today, I know for Hay. That's a start for his backers. Remember he was truckloaded here last time and, and uh, put in an error at the first and lost the rider. Fire Free's with him as Blood and Sand comes back to the rear. And I'll tell you right, for quality uh, jumpers, they're not going all that hard in this either. Looking around takes the lead as they go over the third and going up out very wide fire free to second around Instigator. The winning machine out and Dreaming's on the inside, then the grey saunter boy. I know for Hay, the well-tried favourite is back second last as they jump the fourth and uh, he has now for uh, company Blood and Sand. So down the straight... And they're taking their time. It's looking around just from Instigator, the Gallywood runner-up. He went up on the outside to race second. Out and dreaming, as I said, he's the winning machine. The picket fence, he's over on the inside, third from fire free, fourth. Then I know for Hay on the inside of the big grey saunter boy. And at the back of the field was blood and sand. So looking around, comes down the post. And uh, leads for the circuit to go in the Carter Group, Kevin Lafferty by a length and a half on Instigator. Fire Free tracking third around out and dreaming and sort of boy wider is in fifth place from I know for Hay and Blood and Sand as they leap the fifth. Now, so they're in the final circuit, six left to jump in the Kevin Lafferty. And the leader is still looking around from Instigator running second. Saunter Boy going up out wide around Fire Free. They were followed next by Out and Dreaming on the inside. I know for Hay in a sticky spot. He's back inside there of Blood and Sand as they travel to the back. They're about to look jump number six in the eye if they can see it through these tough conditions. The horses are being tested. So are the riders today. But as they go to jump number six, it's looking around up and over by three parts. Two Instigator moving close so is sort of boy up to third then out and dreaming on the inside fire freeze with him from blood and sand I know for Hayes dropped a bit a bit he's about two lengths back at the tail end of the field so five left to jump in the back straight looking around from instigator sort of boy the big grey idling up on the outside to third then followed by fire free out and dreaming saving ground on the inside blood and sand three deep outside that pair and I know for Hayes still last of all here's the fifth last coming up looking around joined by Instigator now. Saunter Boy's in third place. He's only a half away. Pateman riding confidently as they bunch up. Then out and dreaming. I know for Hayes going through along the inside. He's got not much room to work in here. They're followed next by Blood and Sand. So they're going into towards the third last in the Kevin Lafferty. Instigator over in front of Saunter Boy. They're followed next in the run then by Blood and Sand. Out and dreaming. Followed by Fire Free. Where's I know for Hay going this well-tried favourite? He's trying to cut through inside out and dreaming and go after the leaders. Saunter Boy out in the better going, put in a magnificent leap. He's going like a winner in the Kevin Lafferty. He's three lengths in front of Instigator. I know for Hayes run to third, but he hasn't quickened at all from out and dreaming and then blood and sand, but Saunter Boy comes to the last. Mara and Eustace and Pateman show keeps on keeping on. He's three lengths in front of Instigator. I know for Hayes trying to make an effort over on the inside and then came out and dreaming. Saunter Boy He's two or three lengths in front. Instigator and I know for Hay haven't given up the chase, but he still looks home, sort of boy. Instigator, I know for Hay, try as they might. The Professor, Pateman, Mar and Eustace, the jumping show rolls on for them. Saunter boy spanks his rivals in the Carter group. Kevin Lafferty by four lengths. I know for Hay second. Third was Instigator. Out and Dreaming ran fourth. Blood and Sand ran fifth in fire free. And after leading them up, looking around, was outclassed. Well, he was a big betting drifter. But it didn't stop him. Saunter boy. A very easy winner. The Australian hurdle winner from the middle of May. The eight-year-old by my boy Charlie.
wins here in fine, fine fettle. He's uh, really done it easily. A three-peat for Mar and Eustace. They just keep winning them here in the Australian. Bloodstock colours, number three, Saunter Boy, was going to win that a long, long way from home. He was just out covering ground, but doing it comfortably and easily in the same in the last lap. He did a very similar ride on him to what he did on Will John. Everything else back behind them, getting mud sprayed in their face and wanting to worry about whether they want to go. He's, uh, he hasn't worried about that, Pateman. He's put them in the uh, in the right spot. Six second. I know for Hay, Paul Prisker, Tom Ryan. One third instigator, Aaron Purcell, Braden Small. Five ran fourth. They went 4.02.16. It's been the slowest uh, hurdle race by a fair way. Slower than all of the maidens, in fact. Seven lengths by three quarters with the margins. And Declan Ma is with Stewie again. Oh, good on you, Rick, and what a fantastic call and just a sensational win. And the Mart Eustace stable is absolutely rocking at the moment, as is Stevie Pateman. How good's this deck? Uh, super. Like I said, we're Warnable boys, and we love coming here and trying to win these jumps races. Um, as you said before, I'm not sure. I think Kieran might have only won one before. But anyway, it was a great ride by Steve. Um, big, uh, might make mention to Jamie Lovett, an Australian bloodstock, and all the owners. It's really good a horse like him. You, you know, they're a bit off on the flat. He's uh, bred from overseas. He's got good flat and a good wet ability. And he sort of put the riding on the wall at his last start in Flemington. Um, sort of showed he was in good form then. And it was a great ride by Steve. And yes, good, great by the team at Caulfield. They've had him down there and they've done a super job with him. He also spends a bit of time at Fingal as well. So it's a big team effort. And four from six now over the jumps. Uh, something special. Yeah, he is. He's got a bit of X factor about him. He's, Loves his jumping and uh, like he, you know, in the Gallywood he missed a few that day and, you know, sort of had a few people thought that he wasn't jumping quite as well. But, you know, it was just one of those things. He was probably a little bit sore going into that, but he's freed up and he's just a happy hore and going really well. What about you? You might be the good luck charm here today. Don't worry about Kieran. Keep him in lockdown, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, as I said, it's all a big team effort. I'm sure Kieran would be loved to be here and be talking to you, Stewie, but I'm going to have to sub in today. <laughs> hey, Dick, you're doing a great job, mate. Congratulations. Well done. And uh, the day's not over yet either, bud. No, nah, hopefully not. We'll just <laughs> put the next saddle on and see how we go. Good on you, Dick. Fantastic. And uh, what about this man? They call him the Professor. He's absolutely on fire here today at the Bull. And uh, I want to ask him because, Stevie, you've nearly wrote every horse here exactly the same. You're wanting to be off the fence and you're quite happy to be kind of four or five off that fence, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I suppose it's giving me secret away now. <laughs> uh, look, we had a meeting not long ago here with a lot of jumps races and no one went wide then, so yeah, it's, it's um, you know, it looks ugly, but it's ugly conditions, so... <clears throat> But yeah, that's why I decided to go. And what about this fella, mate? Uh, he's won four from six now over the jumps. He's been placed as well. Uh, he's just uh, a machine. Yeah, what a beautiful horse. And uh, like he's obviously great today, but he's actually better suited to sand down, like rolling along in front. So what you're seeing today was, I thought today he was just a little bit vulnerable, being at Warnable. But getting back to sand down, no one see which way he went. Yeah. What about you, mate? You're on fire here today. This is uh, magnificent. Oh, I'm riding for the, the top team, and, yeah, it's been going great. So. Might be a little party tonight, I reckon. Yeah, Lauren Jackson's birthday, so <laughs> I'll probably hopefully make it past 7 o'clock. So. <laughs> okay. Good on you, Thank mate. You. Well done, Sparky. He's absolutely flying at the moment, as is the Ma Eustace team. And, uh, well, Mike, seriously, how impressive was Sauna Boy? It's certainly the Steve Pateman day today, isn't it? And... Uh, you know, as you touched on in the post-race interview, Matty, um, he's just got the horses in the perfect position. It seems to be vastly superior ground, sort of 8, 10 off the fence. And um, it's just the same the same race tempo, the same race shape each time for Steve. Uh, you see coming to the last fence here, you know, he's probably a good uh, eight horses off the running rail. He's found the better ground. Um, you know, he had the horse jumping beautifully today. He didn't go to the front like he did in the grand, sorry, in the Australian hurdle. Uh, and I, I noted Steve's comments post-race that uh, when they get back to Sandown, uh, which will be in the grand national hurdle probably in a month's time, they won't see which way he goes. So for those punters out there looking to follow this horse moving forward, that's obviously the race that he's been targeted at. But, uh, you know, I thought... 
and Nate for Hay was brave. Um, you know, Tommy Ryan back on the fence, didn't have a lot of space, and it's hard to make ground when you've got mud just continuously coming back in your face. But, you know, all honours to the winner, he was the best horse on the day. I know for Hay was brave. Um, I think he put in a couple of little sticky jumps. His confidence might have been a little bit shaken, you know, from that uh, mishap uh, at his previous start. But all honours go to, uh, to Sauna Boy. He was uh, clearly the best horse on the day. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the, the Ma Eustace uh, juggernaut just rolling on, isn't it? No, Decky just mentioned it. Yeah, Kieran would have loved to have been here today. They love training winners back here at their home deck. It doesn't matter whether it's sprinters or stayers or jumpers. They're just very good at every part of the caper, aren't they? Oh, I agree. This is, this is where Kieran started. He started off yeah. training, you know, a stable of, um, you know, tried horses and, and jumpers down here at Warnable. So, you know, I think he'd be delighted. He and Dave would be delighted with some of the emerging prospects, horses like Norway and Will John, um, Saunter Boy. Um, we've got a blaze as well that we haven't seen this season. <laughs> you know, the, the absolute superstar. So yeah. he's probably got six of the best you know, eight or Amazing. ten jumpers in the state at the moment. Yeah, no, full credit to him, that is for sure. We are getting closer to the next at Packenham. We're going to take a break now on Race Day Live. Come back with more right after this. I'm sorry, Ben. Yeah, absolutely. I want you up there. <laughs> yeah. I'll hand you. I'll hand you. In three, two, one, two. Good afternoon and welcome to Warnable on Kevin Lafferty and Thackeray Day. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, great to have your company. Uh, of course, Kevin Lafferty, a name that's synonymous with Warnable and uh, what a terrific winner we've seen today in Saunter Boy. Uh, congratulations to Connections, uh, in particular uh, Kieran Ma uh, and David just used to have done a great job with the horse. Um, and Steve Pateman, of course, knows his way around Warnable as well. Um, none of this happens without sponsors and thanks to cartergroup.com.au uh, for their sponsorship. And I know Dallas Ludeman's going to introduce... Uh, Ben Wright from uh, Carter Group in just a moment to present the trophy. But uh, congratulations. Uh, as I said, welcome aboard and uh, what a terrific win. I know uh, Jim and Marcia Forrest might be the only connections on course and uh, I know they'd be absolutely wrapped and what a future they've got with this horse. Uh, so thanks for coming out today. Uh, ideal conditions in between the showers. So enjoy what is a terrific day. And as I said, thanks to the Warnable Racing Club. Thank you for your attendance. Thanks, Greg. Uh, the Carter Group are, are synonymous with um, sponsorship in local sport and um, they're, they're certainly great sponsors of the Warnable Racing Club. So I'd like to introduce Ben Wright, who's the operations manager at the Carter Group, uh, to present the trophy uh, to Jim Forrest. And Marcia Forrest, thank you. Uh, thank you and uh, well done on a great win to David, Kieran and Steve and uh, great to actually sponsor a race for... Lafferty name's pretty famous in Warnable and Dan Warnable, we're all good racing enthusiasts. So, yeah, congratulations. You've got to say a quick thank you. <laughs> Don't you? Uh, just quick thank you to, um, obviously, the Warnable Racing Club, put on a great day every year, um, to the Lafferty family, uh, great sponsors, great icons of Warnable Racing, um, yeah, Karen Maher and Steve Pateman, fantastic job and uh, good win by our Saunter boys so, and just representing uh, Australian bloodstock. So congratulations to them as well. Jeez. Thank you, Jim. Uh, right, let's go into the winning owner's room. Well done. Yeah, absolutely. 